In this video, we're going to look at a question that Fred Urshadi has about the animated sweep ribbon. Okay, so we just have a box with the sweep for the ribbon going around it. And if we scrub in our timeline, we don't have any animation right now. The actual animation for this is going to be driven by a mail script. So let's open up the uh, script editor here. And we can see the script that Fred has provided. So let's just go ahead and try running this. And we can see right away that there are some syntax errors here. Now I usually find when I'm dealing with mail scripts, it's easier to actually break it up into multiple parts. So I'm going to come in and select just the lines that actually create or set the keyframes and hit Control X so I can cut those. That way I can paste them back in later if I need to. Let's go ahead and test just this for statement here. And it looks like we're still getting a uh, syntax error. We can see that it has an issue with the parentheses. Now, as far as the for statement, for the actual initialization of the for statement here, we want that to actually be in a regular parentheses like it is now. But as far as the actual statement itself, we want that to be in a curly bracket. So I'll go ahead and insert a opening bracket there, opening curly bracket, and then close it off at the end of the script. So now let's try running this. Okay, looks like we're getting a printing of all our uh, transform nodes here, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So let's try uh, pasting back in our actual lines that will set the keyframes. And now let's try running our entire script to see if that fixed our problem. Well, we see it's uh, once again printing off all our transforms, but we don't know if it's actually set the keyframes. So let's come back in and scrub through our timeline here. And it looks like it hasn't set any keyframes for us. So there's an issue with these two lines here. Now if we look closely at them, the actual value here on the first line is the same as the value on the second line. And we actually want the value here on the uh, second set keyframe line to be a value of zero. That way it'll reactivate this line every time it runs the script. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and select all and rerun the script to see if that will set the keyframes for us. Okay, so let's scrub through the timeline. And as we can see, we now have our animated ribbon. Okay, so by breaking down the mail script into two different parts, we can evaluate where some of the problems lie that will break our script.